Hi class, welcome back from a super long spring break. And I wanna talk about what's coming up, what we're doing. The nice thing is you guys were already online students and so I had to obviously manipulate our schedule, but you guys already are super solid in the online environment, which is nice for you. Um, so look at what we have coming up. I literally didn't even know what to call week what what because it's all a little funky. And so calling it week 11, we're just going to call it week 11. But what I also did was put the dates in here so you could stay on track in case maybe you have another professor who's calling it week 12 right now or something like that. Um, so as we go into the week right now, uh, it's just like you're expecting. The goal setting action plan, this really is designed to help you with um, how to come up with your plan of action that you're going to do your new discussion board um, maybe next week. And so what I want you to do is use one of your past food logs. Your 72-hour food diary is just fine. When it asks you questions about whether you met recommendations or not, that it's the idea of it is it's supposed to give you an idea of what your patterns are, right? So when you're going to make this plan of action, which is going to be extremely detailed about um, how you are going to achieve meeting the recommendations that you've selected, this is going to give you some insight into how to begin to work with that. For example, if your goal is to not eat sugar and you have, and you know at like seven o'clock every single night you have chocolate ice cream um, and that's kind of your witching hour, then putting that in and looking at it will help you say, okay, well, I know that I do this. And so what's my plan of action going to be for that? And so that's kind of why you're doing a goal setting uh, assignment. Also, I find that many students have a hard time being very specific and um, creating something that's actually measurable and is an action plan. We use um, a lot of other words like less and more and um, small and big and, but all of those things, you know, your less could be a lot to me um, and your small could be my big for who knows, right? And so that's why it helps you kind of focus in on what those actions should look like. You have an exam and then you also have a paper and this is the paper you've probably been working on some. Um, and so if you're not sure, certainly go here and remind yourself. Um, and if you haven't watched the video, here is where you will submit that paper. It's not a huge paper, it's just one page. Um, and so just make sure that this is turned in line as well. If you're not sure what um, APA uh, citations should look like or APA reference style pages should look like, feel free to see the Purdue Online Writing Lab as that should really help you. Um, next thing is I have a few weeks open for you. I have all the way till May, uh, till April 14th. Um, and so you can kind of see what we're doing and um, as you begin to move forward. Okay, yeah, your diet debate, um, excuse me, your diet analysis discussion board is next week. And so that's already posted inside your uh, group discussion board. Uh, and so find all the details there. All right, well, I hope you have an awesome first week back. I know the world is a little re weird right now, but it's an opportunity. Enjoy some time at home, learn how to cook, Spend some time with family, six feet apart, not under the same roof if need be, um, all of that good stuff. So I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.